everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. We are going to go ahead and jump right into where does that belong? In this activity, we are going to put into play all of our knowledge that we have learned so far about the different attributes of numbers, such as if they're even or odd, um, what their multiples or factors would be, if they are a square number, etc. And we're going to be organizing those uh, attributes into Venn diagram graphs. Sometimes there, there might be a triple Venn diagram. So let's go ahead and take a peek, shall we? So on slide three, you'll see there, there's puzzle one. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag the number into the correct place of the Venn diagram. So if it's an even number, you would put the number here, right? You would go but that's not an even number, right? So is it a multiple of three? Is one a multiple of three? No, it's not a multiple of three. So what do I do with it? Well, on the bottom of each slide, there's a discard pile. If you play cards, you know that when you are finished with a card, you put it in the discard pile. So that's where you're gonna put any number that doesn't belong. That's what makes this a little bit more difficult because not all the numbers are going to go into the diagram, so you need to figure that out. Remember, some numbers will go in the center because they are both even and multiples of three. Let's see, an example of that would be six. Six is an even number, it's evenly divisible by two, and it's a multiple of three because three plus three is six. Awesome. So, um, on the next slide, you have another. Venn diagram, square numbers versus numbers with four as a factor. You always have your discard pile. When you get to Venn diagram three, it's a triple Venn diagram. What? Same thing for slide six. But we are going to do slide six together right now. So if you have a really good memory, you can... Um, Put the numbers where they belong after you're done watching this video, or if you want to jot them down, or if at this point in the directions, you do not want to work on it together, that's fine too. You could stop listening. I'm going to go ahead and complete challenge Venn diagram number four. So I'm looking at the triple Venn diagram right here. And just like we talked about in our vocab record video this week, there are multiple spots, right, that you could place a number in a triple Venn diagram. Let's look and see what each circle is, um, is labeled as. So this circle are factors of 15. This circle, prime numbers. This circle, multiples of three. So what number would go in this spot, this little spot right here? Well, that would be anything that is a factor of 15 and a multiple of three right? What would go right here? Well, these are the circles of factors of 15 overlapping prime number. Right here would be multiples of three overlapping with prime number. But if it's all three items, if it's a factor of 15 and a multiple of three and a prime number, we're going to put that in the center. So let's go ahead and get started. One. One is a factor of 15, right? One times 15 not a multiple of three, and it's not a prime number. Remember, one isn't a prime or composite number. So I'm going to plot that right here. Two, two is not a factor of 15. Two times nothing equals 15. It's definitely not a multiple of three because it's smaller than three, but it is a prime number because it only has two factors. So I'm going to put that there. Three. Three is a factor of 15 because three times five is 15. Three is a multiple of three because it's three. And three is a prime number because it only has two factors. So my three belongs right there in the middle. I'm gonna put it more in the middle just so it feels more special. Four, four is not a factor of 15. Four times nothing equals 15. Four is not a multiple by, of three because if I skip count by threes, I'm never gonna hit four. Is four a prime number? Let's see, one times four is four, and two times two is four, so it's none of these. I'm gonna put it in my discard pile. Five, well, five goes into 15, three times 15. It's not a multiple of three, 
but it is a prime number. Since it's a factor of 15 and a prime number, I'm gonna put it right there. 13, 13 is not a factor of 15. It's not a multiple of three, right? If I skip count by threes, I'm never gonna hit 13, but it is a prime number because it only has two factors, one and 13. So put that there. 11, I think 11 is the same deal. It's not a factor of 15. It's not a multiple of three, but it is a prime number because it only has two factors, one and 11. 12, oopsie, I just moved the, the whole background. If that happens to you, you can just move it back. It's no big deal. 12, 12 is not a factor of 15. Is it a multiple of three? If I skip count by threes, or does three times anything equal 12? Well, yeah, four, right? Three times four is 12. So I'm gonna put this over here, multiples of three. It's not a prime number, so it just goes there. 14, not a factor of 15, not a multiple of three, and it's not a prime number, so I'm gonna put it in my discard pile. 15, well, 15 is a factor of 15, right? Because one times 15. Is 15 a multiple of three? Does three times anything equal 15? Yes, three times five equals 15. Then is 15 a prime number? Well, no, because we just said three times five is 15. And we always know the identity property that one times 15 is 15. So this 15 goes right here. Now, as you'll see, we don't have a number in this spot. That's okay. Sometimes it just works out that way. So there we go. This is our answer to the diagram number four. Sorry about that. All right. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Maybe you um, are planning on coming to the Work Together group. And if you do that, we will finish these together. Talk to everyone later. Bye.